When it comes to donation, it isn't enough just to sign a check. When you look at the biggest donors in the world, what I most admire about them is the way that they have involved themselves in the causes they are subsidizing. And I think they are the role models for the rest of us, not in how much they give, but how much of themselves that they give. I believe in giving time as well as money. And in some instances, time can be more valuable than money, depending, of course, how you give it. In things to do with women, projects like Women Demand Dignity, Rape Crisis, any of the other structures that are set up to try and deal with women's problems and help them to deal with them themselves and to change the circumstances from which these problems arise. My mother has had the name of Florence Nightingale in the past. Um, she's always been a giver. She was known for a chicken soup. Um, she always ran the business um, with a, a lot of care for the people involved in the business. Um, she's very family orientated and I think that's one of the most important qualities that she's given us as children. And for me, um, it's what makes me feel good when I can use the position that I'm in now to bring our partners aboard. I think that it is very important to be prepared to voice what you have to share, to be prepared to stand up and to be prepared to be counted. Because in all those areas where I think there are huge needs, one of the ongoing problems is the silence that surrounds them. I head up the CSI committee, which is a choice because it's the only committee that I want to belong to and that I do belong to. It's really fun to look at all the different brands in our business, align those brands with different charities. Um, there are lots of opportunities in South Africa, never mind the world, to make a difference. integrity, charity, giving back, understanding your opportunity and making it work not for you but also for the people who work in the business. It isn't just a business decision, it's a decision about your own values and how you want to roll those out and when you're in a family business you have the opportunity to do that. Um, you only have to answer to yourself. Um, as my father liked to say, you know, you make your decisions in the shower. The ultimate responsibility sometimes can be a heavy burden, but at the same time you can be agile, you can be very responsive, and um, it's exciting, challenging, and um, special, I think. For me, it's one of the great motivators. To have money is not to hoard it. To have money is to do something with it. I think that the greatest good and the greatest giving is to give to people who you will never meet and who will never know what you have done for them. <laughs>